Michigan lifted its mask mandate earlier this month. For vaccinated people, it was a step toward normalcy. But for people who are immunocompromised, it's a bit more complicated. It's going to make me feel like I don't want to go out no more, make you want to stay in the house. Eddie Byers is immunocompromised and hasn't gotten the vaccine yet. He says rolling back the state's mask mandate makes being around other people feel even more risky. Peter Gulick, a professor at MSU's College of Osteopathic Medicine, works closely with immunocompromised patients. He says vaccine efficacy is limited for many of them. You know, the vaccine is very, very effective uh, in, in most individuals, but in the immunocompromised patient, those that, you know, may be getting, uh, you know, chemotherapy agents, maybe getting corticosteroids, maybe getting you know, different infusions, they may not respond to the vaccine uh, 94, 95%. More than 131 Ingham County residents have gotten at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, according to the Ingham County Health Department. That's roughly 54% of the county's population. But Gulick says that rate needs to be much higher to properly accommodate immunocompromised people. You know, it's not like we have... Uh, you know, 70, 80% vaccinations out there now, we're, we're still not at that point. And so I think we have to be more cautious in, in, in crowds where uh, these immunocompromised patients aren't sure, you know, what, what, uh, what, what level of uh, vaccinations are present. Gulick recommends that immunocompromised people continue to use caution despite COVID-19 restrictions easing. You know, remove the mask mandate, that may put some of these individuals at, at somewhat of a risk. And so I think they should be aware of that and probably continue to wear masks if they're in crowds and areas where they might be exposed. Buyer says he plans on doing just that. I'm going to be safe no, no matter what. I'm going to have my mask on. Reporting in Lansing, your neighborhood reporter, Keisha Young, Fox 47 News.